said YouTube. YouTube. What's going on, DYSG fans, my blurs and nerds, my freaks and geeks? What's up to everybody, all the Asgardians out there? The all, Super Saiyans. All the Saiyans, all the Kryptonians, all the Earthlings. All, all the, the Lanterns. All the Namekians. Everyone in the Spider-Verse checking in. We're going to do a video. This is our first Friday Fights edition for the month of May. First Friday Fights, Friday Fights, Friday Fights. I did it! And this one is going to get a little heated as you see this one is already a little testy. This guy sitting next to me here, Mr. Donovan, <laughs> he feels as though the people from My Hero Academia could beat the X-Men. And I say, no. So we're going to get into it right now, but before we do that, be sure to follow the Dono and Daddy Show right here on YouTube. Be sure to hit that thumbs up. Thumbs up. Like the videos. Like all of our videos if you get the chance. Yeah, just just like just like as soon as the video starts, just like it. It's yeah, just, just like it. Do yourself that favor, just like it. Be sure to hit that bell down there and mm -hmm. smash it for all notifications. <laughs> And leave comments. We love your comments here at DYSG ah. and the Donald and Daddy Show. Ah. So let's get it going. Now, I don't know why you think that these anime kids could beat my X Men. They're not kids, they're like 18. They're kids. They're teenagers. You, don't, you haven't watched it. <laughs> I've watched enough to know that they can't beat my X Men. I know that much. <laughs> So what we're going to do is I'm going to name someone. He's going to give a counter argument and then we'll go back and forth. Now, I'm going to pick somebody. Let's see. How about my boy Gambit? Gambit is a guy who can... He's metal? Is that the metal guy? No, 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 no. Gambit is a guy. He's from Louisiana. He's southern. And he can kinetically charge any kind of an object. And when he throws it... It explodes. Now, his object of choice is a playing card. Ah, uh -huh. now I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he also wields a staff. He's pretty dope with that. And he's not too bad of a, of a fighter either. Can he, like, turn invisible or something? No. Or, like, can he cover himself or something? No. Man, he's a pretty good guy. And who are you talking about, then? Azala. He can, when he looks at you in a blink of an eye, he can um, uh, steal your power and, and, and he can make you not use it and he, and he can tie you up and then he'll put you from like something high up. Then he'll put like little ninja stripes down on the ground and then you fall and you just... That sounds a lot. That sounds like a lot. But I think they'll be probably throwing objects back and forth with each other probably. Can he make those ninja stars explode? Well, he can look at them and then in a blink of an eye. Because, like, everybody blinks, so just... So when he throws them, like, what's his blinking do? Like... He can, he can, um, he's almost like Spider-Man. He can, um, use his, like, little thing, his scarf around his neck, and he can, like, throw it on top of something and, like, move out the way and, like, look at him. So... Okay. I still say Gambit would... He would beat him. I still say Gambit would watch this dude. You don't know this dude. Anyways, let's go for let me let me have you give me give me somebody else. Who who you got? I'm gonna put out Katsuki Bakugo. Katsuki Bakugo. And who is this Katsuki Bakugo? Oh my god, I told you a thousand times by now. <laughs> <laughs> he can um you his power is explosions. So he can just he can actually fly with his explosions if he can. He should have been fighting Gambit. But anyways. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Let me see. Somebody who he can fly. He does explosions. Someone's going to need to cool him off. Are you really about to put Iceman into this? I'm going to throw in Bobby Drake, Iceman. And he'll just... Yeah, but... But as, but he his 
his um uh, power is sweat. So if sweat, if he just if his hand is sweating, and Ice Man will freeze the sweat. No, he has sweat on his head. And He'll freeze him. the sweat. He will freeze the sweat. Freeze the sweat. <laughs> freeze the sweat. Stop! No. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> freeze the sweat. What else you got? Um, Uraka. Who? Uraka. Okay, what does this person do? It's a girl, not a person. Okay, I mean, it's a girl's a person. Just by connecting her hands, she can um, make you float into the air, and she can just, like, put them... And when she does this, she can still make you float in the air, and she can grab an object with... Her floating abilities and break it off and hit you with it. Ah, sounds a lot like telekinesis. I think I know a telekinetic who could take her down a peg or two. And that is Jean Grey. I hate Plus, she's also the Phoenix. And she has the power cosmic. And she could probably just look at her, blink, and make her into dust. Yeah, I'll give you one. Let me just let me let me throw another X Men out there because right 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 now I think I seem to be winning this thing. Um, let's see. Uh, how about let me see. Oh, perfect one. How about Magneto, the master of magnetism? He can control the gravitational pull of of the, of the Earth if he wants to. Control metal control magnetic fields. He can even control the iron in your blood. There's Who, iron in our blood? Yeah. Yeah. Who do you think could beat Magneto? Probably. I just nobody. learned something new today. I'm actually very surprised. And here at USE, we teach. That's cringy as heck. <laughs> but who you got? I got Midnight. She's a girl that can um, make you fall asleep just by like some some potion that that she just drops. Asleep. Could she get close enough to drop that on Magneto? Because he can he actually use he'll have, he'll have metal on his shoes on his boots and make him float. So just throw it at him. Yeah, but he probably puts kind of a metal wall and block it. Well, when I tell you she is fast as heck, she is fast as heck. <laughs> She can just... So she's super fast, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, she's going to have to be super fast in order to get Magneto. Yes, Magneto. Okay. Let me think of another X-Man. Um, I'm not going to go too easy and go, and go Wolverine. 4.6. Like <laughs> you leave Wolverine alone. <laughs> just because he's short doesn't mean anything. Nine. <laughs> Uh, man, there's so many X-Men. How about Storm? She can control weather, lightning strikes, hailstorms, rain. She can just drown somebody if she wanted to. <laughs> Todoroki. Todoroki? <laughs> yeah. He can just freeze the water and, and he can just block the freaking lightning. He's that fast. And he can burn her since like it's only water. Yeah, but she she can she would she would use like a gale force wind like a hurricane and put the fire out with the wind. He would freeze it immediately. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> You're just saying that because because no, <laughs> I'm right. Because <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> I am right. I am right. <sighs> okay. Um... I win. Okay, well, name somebody. I, I bet I beat them. I bet I can throw somebody out there to beat your next person. Ahead. No, you, you next. You next. Who you got? Mm. You gonna be talking your precious all might now, huh? You gonna bring him up? No. I know somebody. Well, go ahead. Who you got? Who else from my hero do you got? Ida. She. Ida. Mhm. Mm okay. Who's that? She is so fast that he can knock you out with one kick. Cause he has engines on like his. 
right here and like it's so it's so fast it's like the flash in sonic hmm fast run fast huh don't you dare say do so i quick do story. i call the sister or the brother i may maybe just for just for giggles i call the brother i call quicksilver and maybe quicksilver will just walk him down because quicksilver is definitely gonna be faster than him Yeah, he's gonna be faster than him. What? <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> and he slows time down when he's when he runs a bit. You're really gonna fold that up. What you got? He either can still run fast. He can run. When, when someone can either stop time or, like, if. They can they can stop time. He can still get up and run really fast. What else? So he'll just use his real big kick. I got another mutant. Now this one is a omega level, which means they are super super powerful. How about? And you know who name I'm gonna say? It's the trump card of all trump cards. Franklin Richards. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Come back. Come on back. We got we gotta talk about this. We gotta talk about it. We gotta talk. Come on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have now personally witnessed a Yamcha. <laughs> oh man. I think he's dead. He might be dead. Come on, buddy. Come on. Give me your hand. Should I, should I, should I help? <laughs> come on. Come on. Okay, come. <laughs> come on. Come on. No! <laughs> come on. Azawa. Two cards? Azawa and who else? Uraraka. Who? Uraraka. What do these people do? Oh my god, I literally just told you this. The, both those people? Yes. Yeah, Franklin Richards would just probably just think of them away. He'd have a thought and they'd be gone. Wait. Wait, you said Technically. You, you never said which Franklin Richards... So I, you, I can still, it can either be the um, Franklin... I'm going to take it back anyway, only because technically Franklin Richards is not an X-Man. <laughs> he's a mutant, <laughs> but he's not an X-Man. So I will let you have that one. So I take back Franklin Richards, another Omega level mutant, I would just say Professor Xavier. His telepathic mind is the most powerful in the world. He could make you think... That you're a little girl with pigtails. I would slap the heck out of him. You wouldn't, because he, he, he'd manipulate your mind, make you see things that aren't there. It's kind of like a drug. He's a drug dealer. He's not a drug dealer, but you get the point. So who do you think can stop him? The most powerful telepath in the world. trick up my sleeve. Okay, what's, what's the trick? Mm, it's a two card. It's where I it's where I have a two card and it's where I get to pick two people. I'll allow it. You never said what, so go ahead. I'm pulling off someone who could I'm gonna do this guy who trained All Might, so he's more powerful than me. Ooh. His name is Gran Torino. Even though he's old, he's fast as heck. 
Okay, well, he would have to be faster than thought. No, he can just, like, move around. He, no, let me give him a clue. Let's say this is him. He, he would just... By the way, this is Finn Balor, helping us assistance. Thank you, Finn Balor. <laughs> Good boy. He could just run on walls that he couldn't, that he couldn't, um, um, think what he would have, what he would do to him. He, he, he would be too, too, um, thoughtful. Eh, no, I'm not buying it. Professor X will still watch this guy. He watched both of your entries. Oh, wait, I I have a, the two, the, it was a two card, so I'm putting Gran Torino in all my entries. Hmm, still, unless they can stop Professor Xavier from thinking, no way they're going to win. No way. But thanks for helping, Finn Balor. Appreciate your help there, buddy. Now... I'll I'll give one more mutant, and I'll make this a softball. Let's see, another mutant from X Men. I'm picking just any, and I mean any person I see. Here's another good one, and she's one of my favorites as well. I like Shadowcat, Kitty Pride. She can go intangible when she What's puts. That? She can pretty much go through things like that. Go through walls. Other surfaces. Also, she goes intangible within electronic devices. She short circuits them. Now, who who do you got that can hit some? Who you got trying to hit somebody that they can't even actually touch? Actually, um, let me think about this. Did I already use Dragon? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going. Alpha one. Alpha one, you, he, if, if you tried to punch him or like use your powers or something. Alpha one is one person? Mm hmm. Just one person. He, he, it, it would just go through and then he would use your power. He would use his powers on you. Oh. And okay. Like that, that, that makes, double. that's a good, that's a good counter. Use your powers against her. Hmm. Okay. Actually, not not use the powers against her. Use his own. Use his own powers. Well, what are his powers? I think he can like create dark matter and just. I think, I think choke you with it. I don't know. Ouch, that's not cool. Well, you you just said I couldn't do another level, so. Well, that's that's that sounds painful. Get choked by dark matter. Oh. But anyways. We are going to wrap this one up. It's been fun <laughs> proving that my X-Men are better. No. But be sure to like this video. Tell us what you guys think. Who do you think is the better team of heroes with powers? My Hero Academia or the X-Men? Which show was better to you guys? Which show was better? Yeah. Yeah, good idea. Be sure to leave that down there in those comments. Let us know what you think. Give us some picks and choices that we maybe didn't name here. And let us know what you think about the Donna and Daddy show. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell for all notifications, and leave your comments. Let us know what you think. We're getting up out of here. We will see you guys next First Friday fight. Can I see it? Can I see it? Is, is it the one where... You think I did that? I bet you didn't. <laughs> See you next time. And as always, live to play, play to win, win to live, and video games! Do, do you speak geek?